Welcome back to Tesca Technologies Private Limited. My name is Shivam Vijay and today in this video I am going to demonstrate the radar trainer. With this trainer we will see the different applications of this radar trainer. Also we will see the working of radar completely the circuitry how the radar trainer works and how the radar is used and we will see the measurement of speed and different aspects with the different objects provided with this complete setup. So, radar basically stands for radio detection and ranging. It basically measures the distance of any object by transmitting a waveform and receiving the waveform and calculating the time between transmission and reception. So, we will see the same concept in the complete setup. I will explain you all the parts of this setup one by one and later on we will see the experiment on it. So, this is the basic unit of this radar trainer. The radar trainer order code is 10204 you can use this order code to find out more details about this radar trainer to to visiting our website www.tescaglobal.com now i will explain you the basic parts of this basic unit and later on we will see the other parts included with this so this is the basic radar trainer it comes with a continuous wave transmitter oscillator the basic block diagram of complete circuitry is mimicked on the front panel comes with a continuous wave transmitter on oscillator it oscillates continuous sine wave to observe and get the detection and transmission over radar. Then it is fed to the mixer block. The mixer block includes the antenna and other reference signals to this and behave like a lo local oscillator and amplifier over here to amplify the signal mixed with the com continuous wave transmitter oscillator and other mixed waveforms. Then amplifier is then fed to the filter section by which we can get the appropriate waveforms and the monostable vibrator over here which generates the buzzer and different signals to continuously observe the outputs. Then we have a comparator over here which comparator and making pulse over predefined threshold. All the different test points are given. This is the EP connector over here by which we can connect the radar module in this setup and transmitter and receiver antenna sections are also given with the LED over here when the signals are transmitted and received the LED will blink the level adjustment of the transmitting waveforms and detection of the object can be adjusted with this potentiometers over here we are providing a pulse counter so that we can detect the object moving over the pulse generation or the detected object from the radar section buzzer is also provided when any of the signal is transmitted and received the buzzer will start sounding and we can get the signal is receiving with this complete radar setup this is the power on off button over here and this is all about the basic unit here is the main part of this radar trainer which is a doppler radar with a horn antenna over here with a tripod stand so that you can easily stand the radar by doing the experiments and on the back side of this you can easily observe the Doppler radar setup in this setup which we are giving a transmitting frequency of 10 gigahertz with the output power of 10 to 15 millivolts and operating voltage can be adjusted to up to 8.6 volt or adjustable. So with this horn antenna we can transmit and receive the different radar signal. Then we have a slider assembly to move the any auto, any any type of sliding as, uh, object in front of radar at this assembly you can connect any of the different type of metal plates which are giving with this slider can be easily moved with the hand and can be object observed against the radar signal how the uh, signal and any object is moving in front of a radar and you can detect and calculate the velocity some tuning forks of different wave different frequencies to get the different type of oscillations a pendulum setup to observe the constant oscillation a small dc fan with a dc adapter to observe the constant waveforms and moving object in front of radar a ep connector lead to connect the radar with the trainer module and a aux cable to observe the output over cro and the oscilloscope software which are providing with this setup. So now let us move on to the setup of this complete radar trainer. First of all we have to take a tripod and fit the horn antenna 
over here as I fitted and you can adjust it at the suitable height. After that you have to connect the power cable of this trainer to any of the power supply source. Now we will turn on the trainer and a red LED over the jewel switch is glowing showing that the trainer is in on condition right now. Then we have to turn on the buzzer switch over here to observe the detection. Firstly we have to connect the EP cable which is provided with this trainer to the EP socket and other end of this cable will be going to connect on the own antenna of this radar module and completely move the clockwise direction of level and detection adjust port at the initial stage. Now we will observe the working of radar trainer using a DSO over here. We will connect the positive of this DSO to the FD test pin over here and ground with the ground test pin. Now if we adjust the detection slightly you can see some fluctuation on the CRO wave and at the same time you have to move your hand like this in front of the radar horn antenna and you will get the observation. If I stop my hand moving in front of that you will get the observation is gone and as we are getting the observation the buzzer will beep we have to slightly slow down the detection it also catching my sound right now which is converting to the transmitting receiving of the waves and any of the movement around and in surrounding of this radar will be captured and shown on the DSO like this. So that is how we can see the working of radar trainer with the help of a CRO to minimize the noise you just need to adjust the level and detection port here if I turn down the level completely no amplification will be done and no signal will be received so level should be in increased position and detection should be the lower After some firm adjustments you will get the accurate movement like this as I am moving my hand only my hand detection and hand movement is observed no other noise and other options is capturing. So that is how you have to adjust the potentiometers and you will get the appropriate reading. Now the same observation can be also done on a software which can be used on any windows based PC or any other PC. We are providing a Zelscope software for this. You have to install a simple setup file and after that you will reach to this icon and by running this file you will find a window in which complete Zelscope software is opened. These are the different setups over here. Now what we have to done is there is a port provided on the trainer by which we will connect a auxiliary cable for sending the inputs to the PC. Now on the trainer using this aux cable we will provide the signals to the PC. One end of this cable will be connected to this port over here and other end should be connected in the mic input or line in of the PC. Now after connecting to the PC just go to the setting ADC and buffers. Firstly you have to be in offline mode or the hold mode over here you can see and here are the input settings by which I am selecting the microphone high definition HD 
where my input is connected press ok do not change any of the settings and press the online button over here and you will see the graph is right now slightly pulsating at a lower amplitude because there is no signal presented on the radar right now if i move my hand like as i am moving same on the radar trainer you will get the observation on the pc screen as well you just need to adjust the level of detection and you can also adjust the time base and cursor over here so that you can observe the different signals if i increase the level slightly you can see the outputs are higher in amplitude so that's how you can observe the output on the software as well so now moving towards our next experiment in this experiment we will determine the velocity of the object moving in the radar range so for this we are using a slider and the object is connected as a screen over here and radar is in front of it so we'll move the object with some specific amount of velocity and observe the determination of doppler frequency by which we can calculate the velocity for this fd that we are achieving on the doppler frequency which can be measured with the cro or dso that we are using by which using this formula you can find out the velocity easily so now for this we have to just move the any metallic object in front of this radar with any of the slow or higher movement and whatever the frequency at the cro or the dso we are getting we can get it at any of the instant and by using this frequency we can find out the velocity of this any moving object in front of the radar so with this similar manner you can find out the different velocity or movement in front of a radar you can use a pendulum to find out the doppler frequency of it you can use a fan which are providing with this so the fan frequency can be also calculated what are the rpm and at which rpm the any of the object is moving in front of a radar so using this similar manner and calculating all the values with this formula you can find out the applications of this radar system so now moving to the next experiment with this we will study the object counting with the help of a radar for this complete similar setup need to be set and need to be performed then we using our hand or any of the object in front of a radar and adjusting the level at the minimum value so whenever i move my hand once in a movement downwards and upwards two counts over here on the counter you can observe you just need to reset the counter at the zero and see the waveforms here you can see if i move my hand once in front of radar it counts one if i move my hand twice it counts 2 3 4 5 6 similarly with any object and what are the objects moving in front of the radar you can use the radar as a counting system also now moving to our next experiment in this experiment we'll observe the vibration of the any object or any instance using a tuning fork with this we can see the application of radar in the vibration measurement also so over here you can see i have a tuning fork and when i tune this in front of a radar and adjust the detection levels you can find out the vibration in front of a radar using a radar trainer you can observe the slide oscillations on cro and when the when we adjust the detection slightly we can observe 
variations and frequency of vibrations at different values. So, that is how we can observe the vibration and application of radar in vibration measurement also. You can also observe the better observation of a tuning fork over PC software. Here the signals are slightly good amplified. Now I am again placing the tuning fork in front of radar and here you can observe the slight oscillations at a stance. At that point you can find out the exact frequency and screenshot of a tuning fork like this. By using different type of tuning forks you can find out different waveforms. Now moving towards the last experiment of this setup, we use the radar application to measure the RPM. So we are using a table fan over here. For this, we just need to connect the table fan in front of radar with the first experiment setup continue. Now we will turn on the fan in front of radar and slightly increase the detection adjustment by which we can find out the waveforms on the CRO and as well as on the software. So here you can see if I increasing the level, we are getting slight waveforms. of RPM on the CRO. To calculate the appropriate waveform, we have to move to the PC. So here I am again turning on the fan in front of the radar. For this, using this hertz and RPM button, you can find out the actual RPM in front of a mo motion, so that radar can be observed. Here, by adjusting the levels, and detection range, you will get a appropriate RPM waveform. By placing the fan in front of radar, So that's how we can measure the RPMs of any object with the help of radar. So here we conclude our experiment. In this experiment, I have explained you all the complete parts of this radar trainer kit. We have explained the working of radar and we understand the complete setup, how the detection and movement can be measured with this radar trainer. Hope you like this video and thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, you can like, subscribe and share our channel, which is Tesca Global on YouTube.